Somebody, yeah, that's my Maserati going ham. No salami, that's your chick. If I like it, then I'm straight. Boat garden in a club. Where the bottles at rose? Hello, the guys, and welcome back to an hour. Oh no, Half Life shut down. Yeah, welcome back to Half Life 1. Because last episode, well, three days ago, we finished off Half Life 2, episode 2. So I was like, well, this is the last Half-Life game, It doesn't. there's not an episode 3 or Half-Life 3, just as far as it goes. And I was like, wait, we played Half-Life 2, we played both the episodes, but we haven't played Half-Life 1. So, I was like, well, let's go, I guess, go back in time and play Half-Life 1 to see, well, how Gordon Freeman became who he is today. And how basically the Half-Life, basically how the Half-Life 2 story started. And as you can clearly see, this is a pretty old game. I think it was published like 1990 something. So it is a pretty. This game is nearly 20 years old. So you know, of course, the physics, the graphics, all that stuff will be old than that. When you when you kill an enemy in Half Life 2, the body basically ragdolls, so you can push around, kick it, do whatever you want with it. But when you kill an enemy in here, it'll have a certain death animation. So you know, but this, it's a different story. Whatever. Let's just new game, I guess. Wait, still it. Select the level difficulty or the training room, then click play. Let's just go easy, I guess. Yeah, okay. So, it's a new game. Half-Life. Good morning, and welcome to the Black Mesa Transit System. This automated train is provided for the security and convenience of the Black Mesa Research Facility personnel. The time is 8.47 a.m. Current topside temperature... Well, you like it? Yeah, as you can see, everything looks old. All the graphics are not too good, but... Yeah, this, because Half-Life 2 took place in City 17. Half-Life Episode uh, episode 2, Episode 1 was about Escape from City 17, and and Episode 2 was just... Further. It wasn't placed on your... This one is placed in Half-Life 2. <coughs> not the full game is placed in the Black Mesa facility, only just like the first half, but it's... It's based in the in a in the in a facility called Black Mesa, a research facility. Hello. Ah. Ah. Yeah, all the graphics are worse. All that. Yeah, nothing. All the sounds, all that. Things. All. This train is inbound from level three dormitories to Sector C test labs and control facilities. If your intended destination is a high security beyond Sector C, you will need to return to the Central Transit Hub in Area 9 and board a high security train. If you have not yet submitted your identity to the retinal clearance system, you must report to Black Mesa personnel for processing before you will be permitted into the high security branch of the transit system. Alright. This deck is perfect. Due to the high toxicity of material routinely handled in the Black Mesa compound, no smoking, eating, or drinking are permitted within the Black Mesa transit system. I just realized that the turning system is really Please keep your limbs inside the train at all times. Do not attempt to open the doors until the train has come to a complete halt at the station platform. In the event Wait. of an When you press A and D, which are normally the buttons to turn, it turns just turns you, yeah. W A S D. Turn left and turn right. Doesn't doesn't move you, just turns your screen. Oh, move left and move right. Explains a lot. Let's make that your yeah, left A and this D and then that here. Yeah. Apply. There. I fixed it. There, man. Helicopters. Yes, it's placed in front of the jungle. I mean, desert. It's in a desert. Very dangerous desert. Desert of death. No. Are we arriving at a stop yet? It's getting really boring. It was slow. Oh no. Yeah, hold up. Oh, I love how that like goes off and goes on. Oh, 
Come on, I'm bored. Let me kill some things. Now what? Loading A reminder that the Black Mesa has your course to Cathalon. Subject, Gordon Freeman, male, age 27. We're not too old. Bill commence this evening at 1900 hours in the level 3 facility. The semi-finals for high school will be announced in a separate secure access transmission. Remember, more lives. Clearance. Do you have a friend or relative who would make a valuable addition to the Black Mesa team? Immediate openings are available in the areas of materials handling and low clearance security. Please contact Black Mesa personnel for further information. If you can associate with the power of the areas of theoretical physics, so loud, God. Biotechnology or other high-tech disciplines, please contact our civilian recruiting division. The Black Mesa Research Facility is an open opportunity. A reminder to all Black Mesa personnel, regular radiation and biohazard screenings are a requirement of continued employment in the Black Mesa Research Facility. Missing a scheduled urinalysis or radiation Hi. checkup is grounds for immediate Wait, that's termination. The G Wait, you see, that's the G-man. Oh, that's the G-man. Yeah, that's the G-man. Remember him? He looks way different what he looks in, ha in Half-Life 2, but... That's the Gima. If you feel you have been exposed to radioactive or other hazardous materials in the course of your The Gman is watching us. Not like that. Now arriving at Sector C test labs yeah, and thanks. control facilities. Who's a dude over there? Please stand back from the automated door and wait for the security officer to verify your identity. Before exiting the train, be sure to check your area for personal belongings. Thank you, and have a very safe and productive day. No personal belongings. Good morning, hey. Mr. Freeman. Looks like you're running late. Yeah, just open the door. What does the name tag says on here? Security, what does the name tag say? Wait, let me see what it says. What does it say? Okay, you go first. Well, yeah, the characters look way different. Goodness. It's such an old game. materials yeah cool let's actually save our game here quickly black mesa inbound yeah just save that saved good so loud black mesa research facility well hey mr freeman i had a bunch of messages for you but we had a system crash about 20 minutes ago and i'm still trying to find my files just one of those days i guess they were having some problems down in the test chamber, too, but I think that's all straightened out. They told me to make sure you headed down there as soon as you got into your hazard suit. Hazard suit. Alright, see ya. Black Mesa facility, sector of C. 
There's a game called Black Mesa, which is basically just basically just Half-Life One remade into like the new graphics. Can't click that. That's odd. You'll just have to wait until after the test. Excuse me, Gordon, but I'm rather busy now. Okay, sorry, jeez. Someone's hidden my glasses again. You. Weren't you supposed to be in the test chamber half an hour ago? Sorry. Sorry, I'm on duty, Mr. Freeman. <laughs> well, when I press you, you can just speak to me. But they don't want to speak to me, so... Please, leave me alone until after the experiment. I can't be bothered right now. Go to hell. Hi, guys. Hello. Excuse me, Gordon, but I'm rather busy now. Weren't you supposed to be in the test chamber half an hour ago? Shut your mouth. It's the G-Man again. It's the G-Man. Oh. Yeah, I'll just walk away. Anyway, what is here? What is here? Oh, this is where I'm supposed to go. I'm pretty sure. Let's go back there. Yeah. There's the G-Man again. Does he work here? There's Sector B. You got the wrong airlock, Mr. Freeman. You know I can't let you through here. Can we do this later? I'll tell you. What's here? Nothing, just researchers. The G-Man is watching us. I do not like the G-Man. He is creepy. He watches people. Greetings. Greetings. Uh, indeed, Einstein. Check Greetings! Check. Greetings! Please, leave me alone until after the experiment. Okay, jeez. I can't be bothered right now. Go to hell. Okay. You'll just have to wait until after the test. What are you on about what test? Remember to report that fluctuation. Okay. Jeez, so many ways to go. Hello there. Hello. Hey, catch me later, I'll buy you a beer. Yeah. Oh, this is Barney. You know on Half-Life 2 he said, Oh yeah, um, uh, what about the beer owed you? Stuff like that, yeah. This stuff in Barney. Sorry sir, I've got to stay at my post. Okay. Sorry Mr. Freeman, I got yeah, explicit orders denied. not to let you through without your hazard suit on. Yeah, of course I've got to get my hazard suit. Now, where did I leave that shutdown procedure chart? Don't know, don't ask me. Don't care. No smoking area. Oh. Ah, it's good to see you. Yeah, you too. Back my lord, Stelly. I Later. hope those can Why do we all have to wear these ridiculous ties? I don't know. Ooh, it's the rocket's a hazard suit. Suit. The HEV suit. It looks so old. Welcome to the HEV Mark 4 protective system for use in hazardous environment conditions. High impact reactive armor activated. Last night, no, so weird. This is all within theoretical limits. What are all this intense music about? Oh. All this intense music. Alright. Yeah. No, no, not that. The loading speeds are so short though. I love it. Go right on through, sir. Looks like you're in the barrel today. Yep. What are you doing? Okay, let's get out of the noodle. Get a black mesa facility. Ooh. Oh, I don't know. I'm working scheme. I don't know how to change this. Ah, uh, left. Right. Please, no more left. Doctor Cross, call 729, please. What? So loud! Good god. Wait, wait. No, 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 I don't want to fall down. Come 
Come on, hurry up. What's that one below? Oh, God. What happens when I die? Oh. Ah! Wait, what's your health? Oh. The noises. Oh, great. That's the death screen. You just die. You just fall into a billion pieces and die. Good enough, I guess. Okay. Hurry up. We just sent the sample down to the test chamber. We've boosted the anti-mass spectrometer to 105%. Bit of gamble, but we need the extra resolution. The administrator is very concerned that we get a conclusive analysis of today's sample. I gather they went to some lengths to get it. They're waiting for you, Gordon, in the test chamber. Okay. This is the test chamber. Oh, no. I know what happens here. We're in a huge facility with many creatures and d d dangerous experiments. What could go wrong? It's about to go critical. Yeah, apparently quite what a lot. What the hell is going on with our equipment? It wasn't meant to do this in the first place. Yeah. You got some cold stuff. Oh, God. Yeah, I'm gonna back away. Oh yeah, What is this lift meant to be? That's a really save our game because I do not trust weird lifts. And an anomalous materials. New I don't know. Save ourselves in that one didn't save game. Don't know what that's all about. Tesla, yeah, with a Tesla. Hi. You'll just have to wait until after the test. Please, leave me alone until after the experiment. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm afraid we'll be deviating a bit from standard analysis procedures today, Gordon. Yes, but with good reason. This is a rare opportunity for us. This is the purest sample we've seen yet. And, potentially, the most unstable. Now, now, if we follow standard insertion procedures... I don't know how you can say that, although I will admit that the possibility of a resonance cascade scenario is extremely unlikely. Gordon doesn't need to hear all this. He's a highly trained professional. We've assured yeah. the administrator that nothing will go wrong. Ah, uh, yes, you're right. Gordon, we have complete confidence in you. Well... Go ahead. Let's let him in now. There's two things just to open the door. Where am I going? Oh no, I do not like this chamber. What's now? What am I supposed to do? Testing? Testing? <coughs> Everything seems to be in order. Alright, Gordon, your suit should keep you comfortable through all of this. The specimen will be delivered to you in a few moments. If you would be 
be so good as to climb up and start the rotors, we can bring the anti-mass spectrometer to 80% and hold it there until the carrier arrives. What? Let's turn something on. Yeah, okay, now what? Huh? am I even doing? Just, <laughs> these guys got me and told me to. <laughs> what am I doing? I'm seeing predictable phase arrays. Okay. Stage two emitters activating. Back here. Are you mad? Wait, I should have killed myself. Wait, ah. Everything seems to be in order. Seems to be. Alright, Gordon. Your suit should keep you comfortable through all this. The specimen will be delivered to you in a few moments. If you would be so good as to climb up and start the rotors, we can bring the atmosphere to 80% and hold it there until the carrier arrives. Alright, let's do all this again. Because I decided to kill myself. What have they done? Those words somewhere. God. 
broke everything, you idiot. Uh, these guys. Uh, no. Idiots broke everything. Entire facility, oh what have they done? Done. What have they done? They destroyed everything. Great, hold on, imbeciles. Broke the entire facility. How is this no fun? Hey, oh no. Why to warn them? I never thought I'd see a resonance cascade, let alone create one. What do you think? Thank God for that hazard suit. I'm a head crabs. Afraid to move him and all our phones are out. Please get to the surface as soon as you can and let someone know we're stranded down here. You'll need me to activate the retinal scanners. I'm sure the rest of the science team I don't know that happened, but okay. Called head crab. Access denied. Uh, Access denied. Oh, yeah. This failed. Now what? Lead the way. Okay. Let's go. These idiots broke everything. Oh god. They could have warned me about that. Good. Head grab. Nope. Gotta evade that. Not even number one picture. Those idiots broke the entire facility. Crowbar! I've been given the signature crowbar. Well, that's the crowbar. Let's go kill the head crowbar. An enemy. I killed an enemy, yes. I feel very good about myself. I like the sound effects. Start through this. Okay, now what? Let's get through there. Yep. Gracious. It broke everything. I think I just killed them. Yeah, I'm upset. Sorry, guys. Oh, God. Let's get out from there. Guys, these idiots broke the entire facility. The scientists, I don't know, they wanted me here to do some kind of experiment, and the experiment failed, and now the entire facility is going to get destroyed. Great. Well, anyway, guys, 
we have run time in this episode, so, um, uh, oh god, I really broke my lamp. So, yeah. Next episode, we're gonna carry on venturing on through the Black Mesa facility, trying to fix these idiots' things. Yeah. What have they done? I love that sound effect. Anyway, guys, I don't know. Hope, hope you enjoyed the video, guys. Hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye, that's just the unforeseen consequences. Goodbye, guys. Eyes in the sky, gazing far into the night. I raise my hand.